Have you been wanting to automate your timesheet approval process? Well, let me show you how with JotForm Approvals. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and like I mentioned, if you would like to automate that whole timesheet approval process, you can absolutely do that with JotForm Approvals. So let me show you how. In the top corner, we're gonna come to where it says My Forms, and we're gonna jump over to My Approvals. Next, we're gonna click the green approval button, and we have three different options. We can either start from scratch, we can create a one-step approval, or we can utilize a template. Now, if you already have a form that you're utilizing to capture this timesheet, you can always start from scratch but I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a template for this. I'm gonna do a quick search for timesheet and let's utilize this very first template. Now, again, just for the ease of things, like I mentioned before, if you already have a form, you can also utilize this template and you can come up here and you can change this form from one that JotForm is giving you to one that you have created. But one of the things that I love about the approval process is you get this really nice bird's eye view to see how everything is working. So let's go ahead and look at this start point. Let's go ahead and edit this simple timesheet form. So we can see we have a drop down field for their name and it's pre populated with our employees' names for easy selection. We have their email, a date field for them to choose that first day of the week, and then we have Monday in and Monday out all the way down throughout the week, and then we have a submit function down here. So let's go ahead and head back over. So once someone fills out this form, the very first thing it's going to go to is it's going to go to a project manager approval zone. So think of this step as your assistant is going to be the first eyes and whether or not to push this through or not. So if we click right here, we can choose the settings and then we can see that we have two different outcomes. We can either approve or deny. Now, if you'd like, you can also add a new outcome. Maybe there's something else that needs to be added in and we can also require a signature for the approval and also for the denial. And then down here, we can see we have the signers. So if you have an assistant, you can also add their name here. But one thing that you can do is you can also pull from form field. So from within your form, if you have them put their manager's email, you can pull from the email field from within inside that form. Next, you can see we have some completion roles. So we can require a response from the majority, from all, from one person, or we can have a certain number of responses. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on majority. And if you want, we can even edit that notification email. So moving down, we can see that if it is approved, again, we have to sign because we have that. And then it goes to the HR manager's approval. And again, we can either approve or deny. And it has the same settings as the one right up here. If we want to add someone else, we can. If we wanna change any of those completion rules, we can do that. And then of course we have the approval going to the approval port and it ends. And then we have deny and it also is denied. Now again, if we come back up to this assistant piece, if it's denied, they get another form. This is the missed clock out form. Let's go ahead and look at this form. We have the name, shift, clock out date, reason type, signature, and date. Perfect. So again, once they fill this out, it's gonna automatically be denied. So let's go ahead and give this a quick test. I'm gonna come up here to publish. Let's open in a new tab, and let's fill this out. We'll say Molly her email in there and then we'll choose our week we'll do last week and we'll enter in some times and we have eight to five every single day so let's go ahead and submit perfect and it has been received now as an approver I'm also going to get an email to let me know hey you have something that needs your attention but from here I'm gonna go ahead and actually head back over to where we were editing our approval workflow and up here we can either jump over to tables or we can jump over to inbox either one of these are gonna get you where you need to go I'm gonna go ahead and choose tables and we can see Molly's information we can see that the approval status is in progress and if I scoot over we get to see all of her time in and time out. So I'm going to choose the in progress option right over here. And I can see right up here, it says I have an action required. And because I am that project manager's approval, we're gonna go ahead and approve. Again, we have that signature turned on, we're going to sign. We're gonna go ahead and in progress again, because I am, again, the next step in the process. Right here, we can see this is the HR manager's approval step. We'll go ahead and approve here. Yes, this is good, we can sign. And we can see that it is overall approved. So if we click here and come back down to the bottom, we see the project manager, we see the HR manager, and then we also see that approval report has been sent. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm approvals for your timesheet automation, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.